and she did. <laughs> I'm Stephen King, the chair of Voice, and we're delighted that you're here this afternoon. And none of this is possible that we're able to do for these great students without the great support of people like Marilyn Gillet, who's who is the patroness of the Aleko Master Series. And uh, we have so many great people who support us in our efforts here. And of course, it is for the students that we do this to help them further their careers. Uh, I'm happy to say that it's working. We're, as we sit here today, there are over a dozen of these students, recent and just former, who are in all the young artist programs that you can name, which is sort of the next step. Uh, for these students, which is amazing. So with things like this, with the PAC Language Institute, which sends them to Florence for intensive Italian study, uh, all of these things. Where do we apply? <laughs> Upstairs. <laughs> all, of, all of these things add up to make uh, the very, very special uh, place that we call Shepherd School. So without further ado, Troy Stevenato. Students, I'm guessing. I'm not judging, I'm just guessing. <laughs> and sort of there. Students, can you just raise your hand? Oh, wow, okay, good. And there's a few patrons scattering. Hi, I recognize faces. It's so nice to see you guys. I just like a two second thing, or probably 30 second, about what this is for me. It's not a show, it's not a performance, it's not anything that's supposed to be polished. I want this to be a playground. I want this to be a uh, a thing where we come and we experiment. And part of the experiment may absolutely and probably not at all be a finished product because it's not a performance. This is about exploration and, and part of my um, interest in a master class is to sort of show how I might go about exploring something that hopefully can apply to all of, of you guys as you look at your own thing. Because you're like, oh, I'll never sing that aria. What about this aria? Hopefully some of this stuff will be universal things that you can, can take along with it. Um, the one thing that's important for me to say is that even though the title of this is Master Class, um, there are no masters in the world of the arts. There are people who've been doing it a little bit longer. There are people that have a little more experience and perhaps more success, however you define that. <laughs> it varies. Um, I think the most interesting artists are the perpetual students. And so I stand before you as a student as well. I mean, for me, it was like five seconds ago that I was sitting where you are. My resume calls me successful, uh, but I very much look at myself as a student. So what I encourage you guys to do, can you all hear me okay? If not, just holler and I'll use the microphone, phone. Uh, what I encourage you guys to do is, is take what I have to say and do this with everybody that you stand in front of and filter it. Your job now is you start bridging or start looking at the bridge that is between student and artist, professional, is your job is to start filtering all this information that's assaulted at you all the time. You're constantly told and most of it, 98% of it is what you're not doing right. Right? Yeah. <laughs> what you're totally insufficient in. What you're absolutely lacking in. It's all this negative stuff. Your job through your artistry and your voice is to figure out what works for you and apply that. Because we don't need another Joyce DiDonato. We don't need another Larry Brownlee. No, we could use a few more of Larry's. <laughs> You know, what we need is you and your voice and your vision. You have a lot to master when you're studying opera and that's great. Go at it, it's a lot of work and it's more work than you probably actually really realize. So keep putting in the work, but always what I'm gonna say today, what your voice teacher says, what your coaches say, what your conductors say, filter it and make that into something that's your own. A well-educated decision, be well-educated so you have more options. But I just, I want you to take what I'm saying as my voice, my experience. Another teacher is gonna listen to the exact same thing and have a whole different list of things to work on. So just take it, play with it. It's a playground today. 
Isn't it 
it the most amazing thing? <laughs> Seriously. It's so amazing. So tell me what you feel in this aria. Um, well, this is right after Polynesia tells me, I just slept with your fiance. Yeah. And so this is, no, you are lying, you will die. And then the B section is kind of like, but what if he's telling the truth? Yeah. And then it's like, no, 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 you're lying. You know what I loved about it? You had this sort of cocky thing at the beginning. Like, <laughs> you know, and the, this kind of smile, which was really cool. Um, and then the darkness sets in. That's what's so amazing about the character of Ario Dante is he gets poisoned mm -hmm. and that poison goes everywhere. And it's, oh, it's such an amazing journey. How lucky you got to do that. I did like Kate Pinkerton in college <laughs> and you're doing like Ario Dante, <laughs> right? <laughs> it's amazing, Kate Pinkerton. <laughs> so that they still had me do it at the Houston Grand Opera. That's how good it was. <laughs> I've done that more than, uh, sorry. It's, uh, were we talking about me? I'm so sorry, that's so obnoxious. Okay, now, this, this for me, this, the fast, the A section, in a professional world, I would dare to make it a little ugly. Okay. As long as it was a very conscious choice, and as long as when it gets to Scherza in Fida and Dopo Notte, it's the most beautiful singing ever. This is a little ugly, and it's a choice for you to decide how far you want to take that. Um, vedra, you know, if you have a, you know, you're gonna see that kind of thing. I would make it a little growly, and I would really, uh, instead of vedra, perfect mm -hmm. Italian, I mean vedra. I would do that. Okay play with that and see what you're comfortable with. And it would always have to be very well motivated mm -hmm. and not every time, but see if you want to find a few spots to spice it up a little bit okay. where it's not exactly perfect singing, but it's Ario Dante blood boiling. Mm -hmm. For me, that would come in the Da Capo after okay. you've had this new vision. Mm -hmm. You can also uh, achieve that because you always want to find the most effective way to achieve color and drama doesn't cost you anything to go preparati. Mm -hmm. It's very lovely to go preparati, preparati, preparati. Really distinct, disjunct, strong rhythm mm -hmm. when you have that there. Okay. And you get to the legato and the coloratura and that's a different story. But when, this is the thing about doing pants rolls. Anytime you can find a more direct, angular approach to the phrase that works, Mm -hmm. Tu preparati a morire, preparati a morire, se mentite vive. A girl would be, tu preparati a morire. <laughs> uh, very curvy, right? Mm -hmm. Tu prepara, and it's just like, what? Yeah. <laughs> Boom. Mm -hmm. Okay, first one. An arrogant, cocky, never in a million years would she cheat on me. Mm -hmm. huh. So the first one would be tu. <laughs> You're so sorry you said that. The capo's gonna change 100%. Mm -hmm. We'll get there. What interests me most is this middle section, okay? I'm gonna, I'm not a voice teacher. Big deference to the actual voice teachers in the room. I don't do that. But there are a few things I wanna point out to you and I wanna see if we can play to get it. Mm -hmm. I am dying to know how legato you can make this slow. Coloratura, where there is no light of day that shines through that phrase at all. Why? Yes, that's good bel canto technique. That's healthy singing. It's legato. It's Italianate. That's everything we want. More importantly, the second Ario Dante lets up any intention, the second he lets it go, Geneva's gone. Ginevra's gone. Mm -hmm. He can't possibly, he gets this vision. Oh my God, what if it was true? If she ever did that, I don't know that I could go on living. There's, there's no chance to break that thought. The second he lets down, it's possible. Okay. So there's this imperative quality to the music. Mm -hmm. That's the reason it has to be legato. 
Yes, we want it legato, good singing, Italian, and all that, but there's a higher purpose, mm -hmm. okay? Now, let's not think about emotion. Let's go back to just technique, and let's see. So we're gonna start like measure 40, and I just, I wanna hear you just sing this phrase again all the way. Sure. Okay. <laughs> That's, so that's what your mechanism mm -hmm. is doing. What do you feel, what, what's the sound that's coming out? Probably too thin. Probably thin. Well, it's not too yeah. thin. <laughs> it's lovely and warm and chocolatey and fabulous. But I'll tell you what I hear. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna exaggerate it and slow it down. Sure. So this is slow motion. Mm -hmm. There's no light of day, there's no break. I'm not exactly glissandoing through it, mm -hmm. but it's as if it's one note. There's no <laughs> It's the most inefficient way of driving. It's highway driving, downtown Houston, only the lights aren't coordinated. <laughs> Don't you love it when all the lights go green? You're like, woo, there we go, baby, come on, move it, come on. That's the driving we want. We want highway driving. Okay, so let's see if we can get this. Sure. Wait, but let me ask you. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that, or is what I'm saying to you like, what's she talking about? I actually understand. You sure? Mm -hmm. Be honest with me. No, I do. Okay. Like, yeah. So let's, here's, here's the thing. It's not magic. There's really nothing magical about singing. You just have to have the discipline to break it down and do the work. It's like a golfer. He doesn't just go boom. He's watching the video slow motion. That again. Okay, so can we go? Only what's the right? I was almost at Baroque pitch, <laughs> and I'm gonna go. judging you. <laughs> I promise you we're not judging you. Okay. But let's keep working. Okay. So instead of it's like that's like accelerator, accelerator, accelerator. Mm -hmm. ah, ah. See, really slow it down and really slide between the two mm -hmm. pitches, okay? seat too because I bet you a lot of you guys do it too. Snake charmer. Okay. And you feel that? Okay. It was good on the way down. Do you hear how it breaks in the middle? Do you guys hear that? I hear So it's note, 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 and I want note. So actually, the bulk of the sound is and breath is almost happening between those notes. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. Okay, just those three notes up and down. I want you to feel like you're, this is not breath technique, I want you to feel like it's melting. 
and it's expanding down. It's not pa, 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 pa. That's not what we need here. Pa. Okay? So. How's that feel? Better. What are you feeling? Um, definitely feel more fear than picture. Okay. Good. Awesome. What I'm hearing is more one phrase and not note, 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 which is interesting because you think coloratura is all about getting all the notes out, right? And especially in fast stuff, you hear, da -ga -da -ga -da -ga -da -ga. I hear Cecilia Bartin like, <laughs> oh, I gotta go back in the studio. <laughs> this kind of stuff, it's a slightly different thing. You'll, you have speed and that will all come. This is the kind of foundational work so that this knows what legato is, okay? Isn't it so exciting to work this way? It's so much fun. Can we add a fourth note? <laughs> changed a few notes. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. I see. Oh, I exaggerate. Okay. This isn't doing anything. The pitch is changing here. Mm -hmm. It's the only place the pitch is changing. This is going. <sighs> I mean, not like a blousy sound, but I mean, it's just air is just going through mm -hmm. and it's going doo -doo, whatever you need. We're here. Mm -hmm. You don't have to change it. Okay. okay? I'm hearing that you're starting to get this. Are you feeling it? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah? Awesome. So keep it in. This is just melting, okay? I know this is the, you guys are like, this is the most exciting work, but it actually <laughs> is. It really is. <laughs> and just siren that. One, it's one note happening. sensation for you with this? Of the those are setting it up. It's kind of like a, a, a kick in at the top layer of anxiety <laughs> when you go underneath that. It's like I am tense there. And yeah. it's in kind of like layers of the process. Yeah. It's like really tense and so it's kind of like but it's it's great to feel it. There's there is still tension and yeah you're absolutely right. If there's any role that will give you tension it is definitely well any of the roles in Ario Dante, right? But this is what I'm hearing now is legato. Mm -hmm. And chances are, if we can stream like that, you're gonna be able to take that phrase much longer because there's no stop and start. Mm -hmm. This is highway driving. It's one note and it's just all out here. Okay. It's nothing vertical, mm -hmm. it's all horizontal and somehow circular to me, okay? So let's just see where this goes. Really, mezzo piano, mm -hmm. just all, what do you have in the orchestra? Mm -hmm. Nothing, right? Okay.
you feel the ease that's coming mm -hmm. into it? Same thing, one more time. Uh, all just snake charmer. Mm -hmm. No light of day, no notes. Mm -hmm. It's a line, okay? Uh, Gas, gas, and I went, gas. I won. <laughs> I want magic. <laughs> now, did you feel it needs better? Mm -hmm. Let me start walking a little bit faster. Do you have these long phrases? It goes a little bit more. Great. Can we do for one more time? The same beginning spot. And what I want is I want this constant sensation that you're melting into the floor. Like literally, your body is turning to like what's um like molten lava oh, there and the direction is going like this ah oh, you're on the perfect ah vowel you have a lovely ah vowel mm -hmm. just it's not a note it's a phrase there are no notes it's one one gesture okay mm -hmm. and melt <laughs> ultimately, but that's teaching the breath what it legato is. Do it again. No, just take out the portamento. going oh, I'm gonna die if she ever does this I can't possibly stop singing because then I won't be breathing and then I'll die it's that in, it's that character's intention right means to an end I want to go back and do that again because that okay. was really good sure. can we do that up to the deep there? and that is moving really well really good Hearing that? 
that's that's it's that's really great. It's that's legato, and it's beautiful, and it makes my heart break for Aria Dante. Mm -hmm. yeah. It does because it's so all of a sudden that becomes a primal cry. You give us a different texture, mm -hmm. which shows that. <laughs> Good. Mm -hmm. So can we go on? Uh, 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 kind of where we stopped. I'm sorry. I was getting so excited because it was so good. I'm totally lost. What's happening? Okay. Yeah. So can we go? Can we go for a uh, D? at all. I hear every note, but I hear line. Mm -hmm. I hear legato. It's beautiful. Okay. Here go. Uh. Hey, Dr. King. <laughs> What's up? Oh, it's time. 